am now here with an unlimited supply of misinformation is Mr. Know-It-All. Okay, these are the four buckshot loads that I'll be testing in that Hawk shotgun. I'll be testing for three basic things. First of all, I want to compare the felt recoil of each load uh, because that's important when you've got a pistol grip short shotgun like that one. Uh, the the uh, recoil is going to be stout no matter what you use, but uh, the, the lower the felt recoil, the easier it'll be to control. I'll also be testing for the pattern, although at the 15 to 20 feet that that shotgun uh, I envision using it at, uh, the patterns of these different shells probably won't be all that different and won't really be significant. Uh, as long as it remains a uh, minute of miscreant, I think that'll be all that I need. And the other thing that's important that I'll be testing is to find out uh, where each load actually impacts in relationship to the point of aim of the laser dot. Uh, the closer the better. Now the first load I have here is the Rio Ammo Royal Buck. This is a uh, double lot buckshot, low recoil. Uh, you can see it here. Well, I hope you can. I don't know if you can or not. <laughs> Hard to tell. But uh, it's got a clear sort of a case to it, so you can kind of see those uh, nasty lead balls that you don't want to see coming at you. Uh, the uh, Royal Rio is actually made in Spain so uh, I've never used any of that before it's that brand so this should be interesting the other one I'll be testing is the Hornady Critical Defense this is the one that I'm sort of leaning towards uh, loading the shotgun up with but we'll see how it performs in relation to the other ones. This one happens to be an, an eight pellet load at 1600 feet per second. So that's uh, pretty stout. I expect the uh, recoil to be accordingly stout. It's a two and three quarter inch. These are all two and three quarter inch shells. Okay. The next one is also by Hornady. This is their their Hornady TAP, which I think stands for Tactical Applications Police. Okay, it was originally their police load, but they also make it for civilian personal defense. And you can see it here. And the last one, I don't have a box for it. This is actually some uh, S&B, or I believe it's also pronounced Cellier and Below, made in Czechoslovakia. Uh, they're a well-known company. And uh, the reason there's no box is because this is some from an ammo can uh, that, uh, oh, about 10 or 15 years ago, I bought two or three ammo cans of this stuff loose um, when I was uh, at a gun show. And uh, I've shot some of it in other shotguns over the years, but uh, this is some that I have left, and I wanted to try it out in this shotgun. Uh, apparently, the Europeans have a thing for uh, see-through shotgun shells. So we'll see how, how well that one works. We'll see how they all stack up against each other. Uh, so... Um, that's about all I can say about this ammo right now. So let's head to the range and shoot some of it. Okay, here we are at the range. First test that I'm going to do 
is a recoil comparison between all the four loads that I showed you earlier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot uh, from what I believe to be the lowest recoil load on up to the highest. Uh, I'm not going to be shooting at a particular target. I'm just shooting into the berm because all I want to do is get a recoil comparison between the loads right now. So uh, I'm shooting from the side so that uh, you'll be able to hopefully see the amount of muzzle rise from each load. Uh, I'm going to start with the, uh, the Rio Royal Buck because it's marked low recoil and that should be the lowest recoiling load of the four. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now the next load that I'm going to shoot is the Hornady Tap because I figure since it's made for home defense, it's probably going to be the next lowest recoiling load. That was fairly stout. All right. The next load I'm going to shoot is the uh, S and B buckshot. That was about pretty similar to the uh, Hornady Tap. And now, here's the one I'm not really looking forward to. <laughs> the, uh, the Hornady Critical Defense, that eight pellet load that's 1,600 feet per second. Pretty stout. <laughs> Made a pretty big hole in the berm. Okay. Well, that's it for the recoil test. Now we'll go do some uh, testing of the pattern on some targets. Be right back. Okay, now we're going to check the uh, pattern on the target as well as where it impacts in relationship to where the laser sight dot is on the target. I'm only about five or six paces away from the target, which would be about 15 to 18 feet, because that's about as far as it's going to be uh, in my garage. So what I'm going to do is shoot one round per target. I'm going to start with the uh, the Rio Buck, and I'm going to shoot the top shoot and see target. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, then uh, we'll cut and we'll go and, and we'll shoot the next round at the next target. So this is the Royal Rio Buck. I don't know if you can see the uh, laser dot, but I got it uh, about as centered as uh, my shaky hands can get it. So here we go. That's not bad. That's uh, pretty close to where the dot was. About as close enough that it doesn't matter <laughs> any difference. And uh, that would definitely uh, Definitely ruined the bad guy's day. We'll, we'll get closer shots of the targets later in the video and we'll analyze the patterns so you can get a better idea. But that's, um, that's pretty impressive. So uh, next I'm going to shoot the uh, Hornady tap at the lower target. So I need to go and get prepared for that and I'll be right back. 
All right, you just saw the uh, Rio Royal buck. Now we're going to shoot the Hornady tap at the lower target and see how that looks. Well, that was even closer to the point of aim. But the recoil was a good bit stouter on that Hornady tip. All right, next we'll go ahead and shoot the Hornady critical defense at the next target. 